If you're working with an acoustic instrument, or any kind of instrumental audio input for that matter, you'll need to be using an audio interface, also known as a sound card, to get your sound in and out of a computer running Ableton Live. There is a huge price range when it comes to audio interfaces, from around $100 right up to in excess of $10,000. All audio interfaces fundamentally do the same thing, with varying ranges of quality and functionality. We've put together a small list of questions you should consider before purchasing an interface, with some general answers. The first question to ask yourself is, what kind of sounds do I want to be recording or affecting with my computer? This is the single most important question to ask yourself. If the answer, for example, is that you want to be working with an acoustic instrument, you'll need to be using at least one microphone, and so you'll need an interface with a microphone preamp input. If you're wanting to run more than one microphone, which is highly probable, especially if you want to perform or record with other musicians at the same time, you'll want to consider an interface that has multiple mic preamps built in. It's generally standard these days that a budget interface will have two mic preamps built in. If you're playing an instrument that has a pickup, like a guitar for example, you'll want to consider an interface that has what are called instrument level inputs which are usually a switch on the interface's jack input, which basically allow an appropriate level of preamplification for your pickup instrument. In other words, an instrument input switch will make your guitar sound good and strong. You may also want to be working with what are called line level output instruments. These kinds of instruments also use a guitar lead to send their analog audio signal, but they have a higher output. Line level instruments include synthesizers and keyboards, as well as a range of other digital instruments. The next question to ask yourself is this. Will I need to have any special monitoring requirements, like separate outputs for a click or guide track for myself that won't be sent to the main audio output for the audience to hear? This kind of use of an audio interface is common for live performers, including DJs, and it basically means that you'll want some sound that you will hear but your audience won't, like a click track or a piece of music that is keeping you in time. If this is the case, you'll need an audio interface that has at least four outputs. Two for your audience through the PA, and two for you to receive your own separate audio. You may also want to output more than four channels of sound, for a big multi-channel surround audio performance, for example. In this case, you'll want an interface that has a large number of outputs. Another obvious question is, how will my interface be plugged into my computer? Will it be Firewire, USB, or Thunderbolt? There are many variations on the kinds of hardware ports available on computers, and you'll need an interface that will actually plug into your computer. You'll also want to consider what else you'll want to plug into your computer at the same time as your interface when performing. You may, for example, want to also plug one or more USB MIDI controllers, which will need their own USB ports, which will lower the total number of USB ports available for a USB interface. Another question to ask is, will I need dedicated MIDI inputs on my interface? If you have older MIDI equipment, you'll definitely want to consider this, because you will not need a separate USB MIDI interface for your MIDI equipment. While MIDI is now 30 years old, it is still ubiquitous, and traditional MIDI ports are still appearing on new hardware being released today, including the plethora of new analog synthesizers coming on the market. Most interfaces from about the $200 mark upwards will have at least two mic preamps and possibly four total inputs, as well as at least four outputs, and some MIDI thrown in for good measure. If you're willing to invest a little, you can get a lot of functionality. When you pay more for an interface, it usually is to add more ins and outs, and to move up the chain in terms of preamp and digital converter quality. We'll be talking more about preamps and converters in our signal flow and gain structure lessons. One final point. Your computer or laptop will usually have an audio interface built into it, with inputs and outputs. But getting a dedicated audio interface is a huge leap up in sound quality, and an absolute must if you're performing music live. So to recap, 
The main questions for you to consider before buying an audio interface. What kind of sounds do I want to be recording or processing with my computer? Will I need to have any special monitoring requirements, like separate outputs for a click or guide track for myself? How will my interface be plugged into my computer? Will it be Firewire, USB or Thunderbolt? Will I need dedicated MIDI inputs on my interface? Thanks for listening and happy noise making.